Good morning everybody. Right, this morning uh, I'm on a challenge. And what's actually happened is I've challenged Paul Compton uh, to do a series of photos. I'll tell you what, I'll let him explain. So, Mr. Staines, you sent me a challenge. So I'm going to return the favour I'm going to send you a challenge and my challenge is to challenge yourself to the same thing you challenged me <laughs> pick yourself a subject get yourself three different shots of it high quality like you like to say good images of three different ways first way long lens maybe second way a short lens third way maybe day or night time so yeah pick yourself a subject and you do the same as what you sent me it's only fair, and I'll let you into a little secret. I've almost finished mine already. <laughs> Chat soon, mate. Look forward to seeing the images. Ciao. So, as I said, I've challenged him to go and take three photos of one image, three different quality photos. Uh, so he set off and done that and what he's done is challenged me back with, a, with exactly the same challenge you sneaky bugger so I've come to this wooded area and I'm looking for a subject that can photograph uh, with three different soils. Now what I think I'm gonna do is try and use three different lenses. I think that's my my way of going around it for today. We could have taken a photograph of something different parts of the day, different points of view, different camera camera settings, different lenses, etc. As long as it's the same subject. Uh, so that is basically the challenge. Um, so I'm at a local woodland. Now then, confession to make. I've already done this challenge. The problem is, I got back home and I managed to save my the photos that I was taken, but none of the video. So I've decided to come out and do the challenge again and go somewhere different. Uh, rather than faking a a challenge I thought comes somewhere different so I've come to a different woodland and I'm going to look for a composition uh, as you can see there's snow on the ground uh, it's very very cold last night very cold um, but I think the air is that dry there's not been a frost even though it's been sort of minus three minus four degrees uh, but what has changed is because the ground is so wet there's loads of puddles, ice, things like that so there's a different sort of interest within the woodland so I'm just coming to walk through the wood uh, and I do get permission to come through this wood because you are only supposed to um, stop on the tracks but um, I've got special permission to come for the next few days and photograph it. So, what I'm looking for is something that pops out that's different. So, let's get it, let's crack on anyway. Let's see if we can find some, and then we'll talk again in a minute.
Okay guys, first challenge. Uh, I found this little pond. I'm going to photograph it with the three different lenses. Um, so I've put the first lens on, I'll put the Samyang wide angle on, which I think is the one I'm going to struggle with the most. But my plan is, is to get it, um, to photograph this area here with the two trees. And we've got this leading line of ice that runs all the way through the pond. It's not a very big pond, but the wide angle lens should make it look a fair bit bigger. We've got this bit of green ollie in the foreground, the two trees that are going to frame it, and then that pond behind with that nice patterns of ice on it. So that's my first image. Um, like I say, using the wide angle Sanyang 14mm f2.8. So, let's have a go. So I'm just going to drop the tripod a little bit. Don't want to go too low because I want to get make it look as if the pond's a lot bigger than what it is. If I get too low, the pond will start to disappear and that pattern will disappear. So I want to get that in. Um, I want to use these two trees as a frame, which they frame it lovely. And what I have spotted is, if I just move that way a bit, we've got a tree in the background, it's never green, some fir tree. And um, it's given me a foreground and a background interest with this leading line running through it. So it's actually a real, real nice composition. Right. Shot one in the bag. Let's have a little search round and see if we can find a different composition than this area. Right, the next lens is on, and I found an image. Now, it's not an image I would normally take. Um, I like big vistas and, and big shots. Um, but because of this challenge, it's forcing me to look a little bit different. And uh, with this texture in the eyes, and we've got little bits of dots of snow on the ice as well. It's mainly the texture of the eyes. And then we've got this root that's coming through um, from the bottom right hand corner of the image. So I've set it up and it's more the texture, the patterns, and then with this one root in, this one subject. And it's really nice. And um, I'm on about 45 mil, looking down at it. It's got a nice shadow to it, nice loads of detail, loads of texture, <laughs> and I think it's going to be a nice image. It might even be a black and white, but it's just a root coming out of the eyes, out of the water. Um, so that's with the um, Zines 16 to 70 mil, uh, and I'm on about 45 mil. Like I say, just um, zoomed in that little bit to catch that that detail. <laughs> I actually really like it. Um, let me know what you think. But uh, these these challenges uh, for me, what I've realised is every time I go out, I'm challenging myself, unconsciously challenging myself. Whether it's coming back to a place like this that I've been before, I've took photographs of this pond before and not got a good image, and. I knew one day I would get a good image, it's just keep coming back at the right time. I think this is the right time. And the reason why it's different to every other time is, um, 
it's because of the ice on the water, so it's made, made for textures and things like that, so it's really nice. There's one or two little dotted trees around it that are nice, um, and maybe in the autumn it could be another good time, so that's another challenge for me. Um, and I think other things is when you're um, searching to, for locations to do these shoots, um, I always use Google, um, look at photos, use um, Flickr, social media, and have a look at photos w that have been taken there. And then thinking, yeah, I'll, I could get a photo there, I'm sure of it at the right time. Um, sunset, sunrises, etc. And again, you're challenging yourself to try and improve on your photography, but try and be better than someone else. Well, you, 99 out of 100, you won't be, and I won't be, but um, every now and again, it happens. And you get that perfect moment with the perfect sky and the perfect foreground, and everything just comes together. Now, I've been places where I've visited once and had that opportunity to take a photo, which I think is going to be hard to beat. For one example, when I went to the, um, the Umber Bridge and photographed it, it was a stunning sunrise, which I would say would happen regular, to be honest. But what made it was the fog coming, um, sort of an hour after the sun rose, hour or two after the sun rose, the fog coming one side. And I was there at the right time, and I, I've got a super, super image. I think another example is when I went up to North Wales to the Nettle and took a photo of the, the boats on the lake. And um, first time I've been there, don't know where the sun's rising, setting, wherever. And uh, I've got there thinking it might be a good sunset. Gone back to the van, had that half an hour, went back, could see the light hitting the mountain in the background. And oh, God, what a... What a super, super image you got. I'm not saying it's the best one there, but it's probably as good as I'm going to get um, because it was a perfect sunset for me. It was perfect. So there you go. My challenge now is to go back to them places and try and get a better one um, and try and beat what I've already done. So the challenge is it's, un it's, it's, it's always there. It's always there. The big, biggest challenge I think everybody has, I would say, is motivation. Motivation to come out and do something like this on a minus four morning, get up early. Now, I didn't have that much motivation because I should have got up an hour earlier because the sunrise this morning was absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm gutted. But getting out, and, and that's why I, I'm going to thank Paul for giving me this motivation to get out and get an image, because I probably wouldn't have done this today. Um, so, Paul, great idea. Thanks for the challenge. Loving every second of it. Right, that's enough waffling on about rubbish. Um, let's change the lens again and see if we can get another image with a 70 to 200 Canon with the Sony adapter on. Let's see what can do.
Eventually I found an image. Let me just put it on the screen so I can see it. Just to describe it. It's took me half an hour to get a composition with the 70 to 200. So what it's actually done, the challenge has made me slow down and think about things a lot more. I'd have been gone. I'd have been gone 20 minutes ago. No, there's nothing here to that. Gone. And it's a nice image. It's going to be a nice image. What I've had to do is come away from the pond a little bit. Um, and then get right in and I'm on I'm actually on 70 mil at the minute so I'm on the the wider side of the lens so I'm only at 70 mil um, so I've come away I've got this tuft of grass to the um, right hand corner bottom corner I've got the tree which forks off into two um, but it's a bit of a muddy stream that runs into the pond coming from the right bottom and corner that runs in that leads you into the the image then it's this tuft of grass with the tree and then you got the patterns of the the pond behind which look really nice Right guys, challenge complete. Let's get back and process it and have a look. See what I've got. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Again, thank you Paul for uh, for coming up with this idea. Super idea. Really enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys soon.